Hello folks, it's Gameplay Horizon here and welcome back to my channel and today, I will be showing you how freaking insane this sleeping hero Xander, the lightning Arhat from the Atlas faction. If you want the hero Xander to become a beast in damage output, his equipment should be attack speed or gluttony set, equipped with a high percentage of crit rate since Xander does not do multiple attacks in a single shot like Taylor, Botmark 2 and alike heroes. I built him with 82% crit rate and please see his equipment on the video. His ultimate skill can unleash up to a maximum of 1060% of attack and his common skill adds 50 attack speed throughout the battle. The rest of his skills are passive, which increases attack speed and attack damage. The theory behind the hero Xander is that, when Xander reaches 100 attack speed, an 8% damage increase, and when he reaches 300 attack speed, his basic attack is replaced with a more powerful electric attack that inflicts 115% attack as damage. The more attack speed he has, the more he becomes a monster in terms of damage output. Using Gluttony Set, you have already plus 250 attack speed, and when the battle commences, Xander gains another 50 attack speed, and when he attacks the same target, each basic attack adds up to 34 attack speed for 6 seconds, and this will stack up to 5 times. In order for him not to lose attack speed during the battle, you should upgrade him to at least level 20 exclusive equipment. Now let's test Xander on the Kick the Snowman event, and I've waited for this perfect event to test different kinds of heroes. The best commander, or the only commander for the hero Xander, is Samadhi, and there are six best divine prototypes that are available for him, namely Soaring Medallion, Red Thorn Rune, Thorn of Glory, Praying Eyes, Dark Summit, and Fifth Element. I will test him with all six divine prototypes, but we will separate the two mythic divine prototypes since they are only level 9. Let's see what is the best divine prototype that suits best for Xander. It would be best to see this video on a wider screen so that you will see the progress of the hero Xander on each divine prototype. In some cases, if you will use Xander together with other heroes, it is also good to use other divine prototypes which boost the abilities of all heroes like for example the divine prototype Vision Stone if you have a hero that has debuff skill like Botmark 2 or Luke. Looks like the Soaring Medallion isn't performing well with the hero Xander. The Red Thorn Rune is doing good as of the moment, but the Dark Summit is doing an excellent damage. But most of all, the Praying Eyes exceeds my expectation and by this time it outsmart all three divine prototypes in terms of damage output. And therefore based on the results, we can conclude that Xander works best with the Praying Eyes divine prototype. Next, we will compare which works best with Xander between Thorn of Glory and Fifth Element. These two are mythic and only at level 9, and we will also compare the results to the prototype Praying Eyes. If you will ask me which game modes the hero Xander works best, then my answer will be at the Desa Caves, also in the Atlas Whale in the Guild Hunt and in the Guild Daily Challenge. In events, he is also doing great in the Twilight Lands, specifically in the Hunter Bond enemies, and most of all he also works best in this Snowman event. I am really trying my best to provide you with the best video, and I am currently saving money so that I can purchase proper equipment for streaming games. Just bear with me, and we will do this step by step. Just like Eternal Evolution, you need patience here that is why this game is not boring compared to other idle RPG games. Based on the results, level 9 5th element works best with Xander compared to the Thorn of Glory. Next I will use the 5th element with Xander with attack build. I removed the 40% crit rate and replaced it with 50% attack gloves and we will compare which works best between crit rate and pure attack. Of course, attack build does not work with praying eyes and dark summit so only 5th element and red thorn room will compete.
Fifth Element dealt 39.3 million and let's test Red Thorn Rune on the next video. The Red Thorn Rune dealt 40.1 million and it is close to 5th element with 39.3 million. I can say that this is not significant enough and for me they are almost equal. So therefore we can conclude that crit based equipment works best with Xander. Until then and see you in the next episode. Thank you.